Here's a headline for you. Connecticut wants to tax residents who have no health insurance. Jerry Willis has the story. Before we start, I thought that under Obamacare, you had to have insurance, and if you didn't have it, they'd fine you. But that's going away. It's going away. This is the last year of that. So a lot of states now are coming in and saying, <sighs> hey, you know, we've got to force people to get coverage, and none as much as Connecticut that wants to put in place what I would call a super mandate. They will charge a fine of up to 6.9, 9. I said it backwards because I can't even believe this number. <laughs> this number is crazy. 9.6% of for high-income people if they do not get coverage. So if you make, I don't know what the number is, is it what, 200000 300000 100000 If you make $100,000 a year or more and you live in Connecticut and you don't have a, uh, a health insurance. care plan of any type. Of any type, then they come after you and they fine you or charge you $9,600. You've got to pay up almost $10,000 coming right out of your pocket. And the thinking here, it was proposed by a Yale University economist. Mm -hmm. They want to force you to get coverage because, you know, if you're a rational actor out there, I mean, think about it. And the options are, hey, I pay $9,600 and get nothing or I pay $9,600 and I get coverage. I'll go with the coverage. The other option for people at the high end of, of the income stream is they can also put money in a health savings account. They could take that same amount of money and do that. Yeah. But it's really twisting people's arms yes. to get them to do what they want. We've already had Maryland come in and say, we also want to do something like this. We also want to force people in. There's about six. 60,000 people out there right now <clears throat> paying the fine. But let's be clear about what the Obamacare fine is, because it's very different. 2.5% of income or $695, whichever is more. This is bad news. <coughs> but we're glad you're on the show. 